This is where I met Jim Walmsley last year. We pulled up, parked here, and he was like sitting on a rock over there, and I was like, oh my god, I said to my friends, oh my god, it's Jim Walmsley. So I went over and met him. It was cool. Today is Veterans Day. Um, no school today, so I'm going to take the opportunity to go up to the mountains and do some running up there, so that'll be cool. We are at the trailhead, sort of. I found a place to park, yay! Hate parking. We're going two handhelds today instead of the pack. I might have done the pack, but I actually just mailed it back to uh, Camelback because it had a, one of the straps was broken. And supposedly they have that lifetime warranty, so um, hopefully they will help me out with that. We'll, we'll see. All right, let's do this trip down there. See you back soon. This could be the biggest hazard of Santa Barbara trails. Jesus, that's sketch. All right, we are almost at eight miles, nearing the turnaround. Pulled my phone out almost without breaking the stride. This is the view. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. And uh, yeah, gonna keep going, should be over 16 today. I'm feeling really good. All right, peace. So yeah, I'm at 3,400 feet, so I've climbed about uh, 3,000 feet. I think I probably started at about 500 feet. Um, all right, time to end this little break, put the phone away, and then bomb back downhill. Should be well under 10 minute pace at the bottom. Um, probably more like nine or mid eights. So uh, let's go. All right, so I'm long back, uh, recovered, hydrated, all that. Feeling pretty good actually for having run 17 miles, so I'm really excited for Sean O'Brien in a few months and probably a 50K in a couple weeks. So um, yeah, everything's looking really good. But there's something that I wanna talk about that's been coming up quite a bit in the last few weeks and definitely in the last year in general. Um, and that's why I started running ultra marathons at such a young age. I train through the week, usually with marathoners and 5K, 10K guys. So to them, it's a bit foreign for sure. And a lot of people do think that I should be focused on 5Ks, 10Ks, and just developing a good speed base before I move into the trail ultras. And I think there is some truth to that. In fact, I do speed work twice a week, and I run these tune-up races, these cross-country races, to, to develop a good speed base. And a lot of top ultra marathoners are really fast. I think Jim Walmsley is a 404 miler. Sage Kennedy is like a 216 marathoner. Tim Tollefson's like a 219 marathoner or something like that. But I do think there's a lot in ultra running that can only be gained through experience. And I think that's shown by guys like Killian Jornet, um, Pau Capel, uh, Gediminas Grinius. Andrew Miller was super influential when I watched him win Western States in 2016. He's never run so much as a road race. So I do believe what I'm doing is the right path for running success. That being said, even if it wasn't, I'd still be running trail ultras because I love doing what I'm doing. The main reason I'm running these races is because I have so much fun challenging myself. I feel like running in the mountains for hours at a time, running these super long races is like the coolest way I can challenge myself. And the people I meet at these races are so awesome and the community is just fantastic. And as long as I'm healthy and I'm still enjoying these races, I'm not gonna stop focusing on them. Absolutely, I'm gonna keep doing speed work so I can get better. Absolutely, I'm gonna run cross country races. I'm gonna run track races to work on getting faster. But the bottom line is when I get out of bed every morning, I don't think about cross country or track. I think about these trail ultras. Running long trail races is my passion. And I think if you're passionate about something and you practice it and you do it frequently and you work hard, I think it's pretty hard not to be successful in that way. On the other hand, I don't think forcing yourself to do something that you don't enjoy that much leads to success. So there's sort of my rant. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you like this sort of thing, please like and subscribe. 
Um, I'm looking to do some interesting stuff in the near future. I might do some gear reviews and mix it up a little bit and talk to some folks on the channel. So um, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I will see you next time. Mm -hmm.